Well, a little bit of update. As you can see, I've added a stainless steel elbow there so the hose isn't kinking like it was last time we were trying to fill. And on the other end of the hose, I added another stainless steel elbow. It goes right into the tank. And we're on board and ready to go show you the next purpose this vehicle has been designed for, which is very good. See, we're full of water, right to the top. And we're on a mission, so let's go. Meet you back at the corner of the track. Sometimes someone needs a little head. Wouldn't want to go swimming in that, but the, the muskrat likes it. We're almost there. On track, show you what we're up to. Fully loaded. Well, see those pylons? We have another garden. Well, at least another garden that we're allowed to talk about, right? Yeah, we can show this one. Those are different, all different kinds of pepper plants, jalapenos and green ones and red ones, tomato plants, uh, even a couple of zucchini plants on the end. We got some pylons so no one goes racing over top of them. Well, now you know the other purpose of this vehicle. It can water gardens. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna water our garden on a hot summer's day. We just gotta move those pylons now, or do we? Maybe not. And I just can open one valve on one side because it's a narrow garden. Then we got to figure out a way to pressurize this thing and or put a pump on it and water the uh, catnip mountain because we got lots of stuff growing on there. All right, let's do it.
Oh, there's a pond update. As you can see, the underwater road is completely covered now. There's that pipe that was sticking out a bit before. Our sinking ship is really sinking now. And by looking at the dock, how far the water is going to come up, we got almost two more feet to go, maybe 21, 22 inches. But it's really slowed down now, being hot and sunny out and ground, less groundwater coming out of that spring. It's only filling up now about two to three inches a day, so it's filling up a lot slower in the spring. In the spring, this whole one acre pond can fill up in about a week, and in the summer it takes about two weeks to fill up. No big deal. I'll go show you the drain now. It's just over yonder. It's still clear when the seaweed starts to grow again. The seaweed purifies the water and changes the chemistry so nothing else can grow in it. It makes it so clean, it just smells like it came out of the tap, like tap water, cleaner than any lake. There you can see that it has to go about 22 more inches. Let's go check the water out. How do you like that motorized bike? Works awesome, eh? Free donation from guys from Cambridge. Well, it's nice having an underwater road, you know? Cool. Now we can drive to the island. I'll have to get out and feel how warm the water is. Probably is pretty warm by now. Oh, especially being shallow right there? Definitely. Yeah. You going for a swim? Is it warm? Oh my god, yeah. Are there leeches? No, there's no leeches. The fish ate them all. Fish, bass love leeches. Let's see. Oh yeah. Hey, if you could make one of those videos, make it look like you're walking. The water feels like it's low 80s already. Yeah, low 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably 82, 83. Yeah, you could easily go swimming in it now. Sweet. Yeah, I haven't even tried it yet this year. I got electricity on my island, island too. You can see the bar fridge up there. Lights. We need a new flag. Oh, my cabin lights broke off. But my slide light's still working. Cool. But the water's going to go up a couple, two or three stairs when it's ready. Yeah, now I've got to rework the beach and can put some more sand on it and get rid of all that grass. Not a problem. There's blokes hang out. Oh, he, he finished building his t t table. That's good. Cool. I never realized how high up this is. From how high up what is? The water must have been really freaking high up for the winter because we were like leveling. Yeah. Last modification I made, which everybody mentioned, I should put a curve thing on here so that when this thing overflows when I'm filling it up that it doesn't spill all over the seat. And I did. And it's even directional. And it makes a handy handle for when you're climbing up. 